Hey everyone, my name is Rondon. You had the opportunity to see me in the leaderboards on Super People. I was the worldwide 28th best player in duos FVP and with Weather Best Gaming I'm bringing you 7 tips in Super People so we can be better than everybody else when the game comes out in October. Tip number 1. Craft your items ASAP. The crafting in this game is complicated, but you don't need to understand it in order to use it. Let me explain. Every upgradable item such as helmets, backpacks, guns have specific items they need for specific levels and they do not share amongst other equipments. So if you're looking to upgrade your level 1 helmet to a level 2 helmet, you need a dyed cloth. This dyed cloth cannot be used anywhere else, so there is really no reason to try to save the material. Sometimes you want to keep looting more before looting the first tiers of equipment because you might find higher levels and then you would have wasted time crafting the previous ones, but the materials are only used for one item each. But this changes when you want to craft your level 4 into level 5, and also while crafting guns. To craft a level 4 item into a level 5, you need a gold bar. A gold bar is used in every level 4 to level 5 upgrade, in every gun and every equipment, so pick wisely which one you want to upgrade. My recommendation is always upgrade the shield first, then helmet and then backpack. Sometimes you can get a really good perk on your level 4 helmet or the backpack, so you should craft the one with the worst perk. When crafting guns, every gun needs a crafting kit. These kits are shared amongst all the guns in the game. You have common, uncommon and advanced, white, green and blue. You should always pick more of them if you know you will be switching guns and also pick them up for your teammates. In conclusion, craft everything to purple as that only requires specific items for that specific crafting tree. After that, pick and choose which item you'd like to level up to level 5. Tip number 2. Manual searching. Auto search is great. It takes into consideration every levels and automatically searches for items you will need for the equipment you have. But manual search has a bigger range and once you know what items you need to upgrade your equipment with, you should manually search for them. Always click the bottom right button in your desired equipment window to start manually searching for that specific material. Tip number 3. Looting. This might be the fastest tip here, but pick up everything that is shining. The items that you can pick up and equip, for example attachments for your guns, will be shining. The armory upgrade, the helmet likewise. Everything that's shining, automatically pick it up. Things that are not, you either don't need them or you have too many of them. You can actually go into the settings and set how much ammo for example or first states you think is enough and once you have that many of them in your backpack, the game will not make them shiny so you don't have to pick them up. Tip number 4. Slice the pie. This is used in the military and is very useful in FPS shooters as well. Let's say you're approaching a window from the left. Most people would come to the window, pick it and would get shot at instantly from god knows where because they didn't check it properly. Once you approach the window from the left, you can see the other side of the window. And progressively, you move to the side until you can clear the 180 degree angle outside the window. Do not skip a pixel, you need to take a look at every tree, at every rock, every height difference and keep sweeping, keep slicing the pie until you find a hostile. If you do not find a hostile, window is clear and you can keep moving. You do this not just around windows, but around rocks, any obstacle and really all the time when you're just running and rotating. But you want to keep looking with your eyes and you don't actually have to aim down sights all the time because then you're gonna be super slow. But you always have to keep slicing the pie. Once you get used to this, you'll be able to slice the pie and check a 180 degree angle in under a second. Tip number 5. You can stack energy bars on top of each other. This means that you can eat up to 3 bars at the same time and then the duration of the effect is increased. The effect itself does not double nor triple but the duration of the effect does. It maxes out at 270 seconds so always do this when you have time just before a fight. Also you can only stack one type of a bar and as soon as you consume another bar the effect is replaced and the duration as well. Tip number 6. Always unzoom your scopes. For example, if you use the 4x scope, always unzoom as the recoil is much harder on the zoomed in 4x compared to the unzoomed 4x. Tip number 7. You can actually shoot from cars. If you play the driver, even better. But even if you're not playing the driver, you can still shoot from inside the car while driving and being in the driver's seat. All you have to do is ADS while driving and you can shoot. Of course you can shoot from other seats as well, just make sure that you're not sitting in the third seat 
which is the seat right behind the driver because then when the driver and you both shoot you might shoot the driver in the head and that's going to be it for this video make sure you follow and sub check the channel for more interesting videos my name was rondon and see you guys next time